Hey guys, it's Mary B bringing the mayhem, and today we're going to be upsetting the whammon narrative by talking a little bit about Captain Marvel. She is said to be the next face and leader of the MCU as we move into phase four. Why is it that I don't give a shit? Is it because she doesn't look like she gives a shit? Resting bitch face isn't attractive on anyone, but it's even less attractive when you have silly things like making her a hero. Why do we care that it's her as the hero? Why exactly is that compelling? Well, personally, as a female, I don't give a damn what your gender is. All I want is a good character on the screen. Why do we care about people like Captain America? Why do we care about people like Tony Stark? It's because they have amazing, interesting backstories that sucked us in from the beginning. They brought us into their world. We followed them through their stories of heroism and triumph over difficult and arduous tasks. Now, they were into their stories. You watch their movies and they seem to genuinely care about what's going on around them. But look at this face. Is this the face of a person who gives a damn? I argue not. I don't need Captain Marvel to be a woman to relate to her. I just need to be able to relate to her. And turning this into the leader of the Avengers moving forward is a mistake in my opinion. I, I hope I'm wrong. I'll probably go see Captain Marvel. I'm looking forward to it about as much as I looked forward to Ant-Man and the Wasp. It was a decent film, but I do not need politics sold to me. I have my own identity, and I don't need you to thrust yours on me. Just make us a good character. That's all any of us really want moving forward. Don't hand us resting bitch face. Hand us, I've been through turmoil and I understand that the world that I live in is complex and I don't have to be a one note identity. I don't have to be making her a hero. So let's take a look at this article and see what it is that they plan to do with Captain Marvel moving forward. When talking about Captain Marvel footage, uh, it's explained that she would be the new face and leader of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They say the footage was meant to introduce people to Carol Danvers. God, what a bland name. The footage shown highlighted her as a character and talked about how she would become the new face and leader of the Marvel Cinematic Universe while taking a little bit about while talking a little bit about her powers and how powerful of a character she is. So the biggest news that came out of this presentation was that Captain Marvel would lead the charge in phase four of Marvel Studios plans. I mean, it makes sense after all. She is said to be the most powerful being in the MCU, and she has the ability to travel all over the MCU from Earth to the cosmic realm. So she could technically show up in any movie to help out in some way if she's not busy doing something else. I can't wait to see that first footage of Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. I have no idea when that footage is coming out. We just got that footage. But I'll be looking forward to it. What do y'all think about Captain Marvel being the new face and leader of the MCU? Well, here's what I think. Yeah, that face basically says it all. I don't care. I do not care that this is a woman. I do not care because she doesn't seem to care. Marvel, we only want one thing, a good movie. And when what you shove in our face is some bland, uninteresting character who seems as if she doesn't even want to be there, not to mention that you have an actress playing her who shoves her politics down our throat constantly, you're going to turn audiences off. And guess what? That includes females. We could not care less that this is a woman on the screen. We just want to see a well-developed, interesting, charismatic character. That's all you have to give us. Take your politics and set them aside. Because at the end of the day, nobody really wants to see that. So, Marvel, we hope for the best here. But please, please, don't start disappointing us by shoving politics down our throat. Disney already made that choice, and we've reacted. Take a note. Heads up, and just don't get stupid. Don't go woke. We will make sure you go broke.